Straight out to Lieutenant Jeff Kramer of the El Paso County Sheriff's Office in Colorado. Thank you for joining us, sir. Um, tell us everything you know about this photo. How did you discover it? We had gained some tips uh, a few days ago uh, from folks calling in, letting us know that uh, they had seen the ad come up and there was information that Cara might be in the Las Vegas area. Uh, after that, we did our own research into that ad. And uh, through the investigative efforts of our, uh, of our detectives, they were, in fact, able to determine that uh, someone had simply used a photo of Cara and Cara was not, in fact, uh, involved with the posting of that ad. Well, when you say somebody used a photo, have you determined who that person is? And is that a sick prankster? I mean, the idea, the mentality of a person who would toy with the emotions of desperate parents and post something like that, it, it, it turns my stomach. But there's also the possibility that, that, that this person who posted it knows something about where she is and maybe it gives us hope that she's alive. You know, at this point, there's some uncertainty as to whether or not uh, this was an intentional act to kind of play this trick or hoax, as you mentioned, or if it was some kind of coincidence that it would be her photo rather than someone else that was used for this ad. It was interesting when we spoke with uh, some uh, officials from the Las Vegas area, some authorities there, they mentioned that it's not uncommon at all for these escort type services to simply kind of fish around the internet, if you will, look for photos such as these to use for their uh, advertisement, hoping to gain calls into their services. Okay, well, uh, hours before Cara disappeared, she was supposedly with some women. Uh, when we spoke to Karen's parents about a week ago, police were looking for two mystery women who had been with Cara. Let's listen to Cara's dad when he appeared on our show. She spent the day uh, with one of these uh, mystery brunettes, and, and uh, she she was in her room and and just hanging out with a friend and uh, she left later on that evening and she told her roommate, uh, her one of her roommates, that she was going up to Denver. Okay, and here's a photo of one of those women that she'd been with. Lieutenant Kramer, did you ever find these women and what did they say about their last meeting with Kara right before she seem seemingly vanished into thin air? We have been able to identify one of those women, and the other remains unidentified. The one that uh, we had a photograph of that I think you have there, uh, we were able to positively identify her. Um, she is local to the Colorado Springs area. Our investigators had a chance to speak with her a few days ago, and it was helpful at least in being able to establish some of the timeline, if you will, um, that this young lady has been with Cara a few days prior to her disappearance. The second brunette female that we did not have a picture of, who we believe spent several hours with Cara on the date of her disappearance on October 9th, again, remains unidentified. Uh, we're still looking to the public for help to identify who that young lady might be. We would love a, an opportunity to speak with.